by applying the horizontal line test determine whether each of the function has an inverse function so we know to check if it is a function or not we use vertical line test why we are using vertical line test because we know that the x axis is the object and this one is the inch so to be considered a function it must it must have only one image that means one object can only has one image so since this is the object so you can only mesh at one point only because this means only one uh, image so when you go to a vertical line test when you get two or more than one that means that you have more than one image so not a function so since we are doing inverse function so is the other way around so that's why we are doing horizontal line test to test So, for A, we see anywhere on the graph, when we do the uh, horizontal line test, it will only cut at one point. So, cut at one point, so we can say that it has inverse function. So, why? So, also, at anywhere on the graph, when we do the uh, horizontal line test it will only meet at one point so one point one point one point one point so since this is also cross at one point so we can say it has inverse function okay but here see you can see when I do this you see one two three so it cross at three point so more than one so actually not having inverse function so this is not inverse function the diagram below shows the graph of one to one function f in each case catch the graph of f inverse and hence state the domain of f inverse so you see here when we are saying inverse function inverse function so okay for example we have x we have y so when this is function f x so this one is function f inverse x so we can say that the x and y is alternate so for example if we have 2 1 function f is 2 1 then f inverse is 1 2 something like that so you see here 0 0 so this is also 0 0 so you see here the distance is something like this so it's just the another way around and then something like this so if this one is for two so this one is two and four so for b this is zero four and this is two zero so inverse function so this is my uh, this is function f so inverse function 4 0 will turn into 0 4 so 0 4 is here so 0 2 0 will turn into 0 2 so 0 2 is here so you see here so this one the distance here is equal to distance here so here this one is 4 8 so the f inverse is 8 4 so instead of going here this way, so here is, it will be going this way where this point is 8, 